What up everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm going to show you how to route audio with the Reason Rack plugin throughout Ableton with both the instrument version and the effect version. Now let's go ahead and start with the instrument and let's just add two sounds, two instruments. Let's go with IDA and Scenic and I do have a quick MIDI clip already instantiated. Now I want to separate this piano and scenic to be separate. So they are layered right now currently and if I want them on separate channels, it's very simple. I'm going to create an audio track here. Let's go ahead and name this scenic. Now I will hop back into the Reason Rack plugin and I will turn this off to main. This would be sending it to the main output which is the reason rack itself, we want to separate this. So I'm turning this off. If we flip the rack, we also see that it is going to 3-4. Scenic is going to 3-4, and the IDA is going to the main outputs. So back into Ableton. Here, where I named this track Scenic, we're going to change the audio from to the reason rack plugin. Down here, we're going to change this to 3 and 4. And we're going to put this monitoring on in. Now we have our audio signals separate. Now MIDI is a completely different story. It is not possible to create separate MIDI channels within the Reason Rack plugin. However, there is a workaround. You can do this with a combinator. If I select both of these, right click, combine. If I open the programmer, and by the way, this isn't very workflow um, efficient. If this is what you want to do, you can do it. Now my chords are being played in, I think, the C4 octave. So let's go ahead and change this ID8 to only play C4. And we can go ahead and do it through C5 or something like that. C5 and then let's go ahead and grab scenic and change scenic to only play we can also drag this C4 itself so now when I hit play this is simply playing the root note of this chord while the piano is playing everything so if you think outside the box, you can do some crazy things with that. Like I said, not very workflow friendly, but people will definitely want to know how it's possible anyways. So now you know. All right, I will now demonstrate how to get the Reason Rack plugin effects into separate audio channels. So let's go ahead and get rid of these and start as if they were not here. Back here, let's add the Reason Rack as an effect gonna add a reverb and I want to add a second reverb so let's go with another MK2 and let's go ahead and add a sweeper modulation effect so the problem with this is going to be when we flip over the rack everything is daisy chained into each other if we want everything separated We'll need more than one audio output from the main, you know, the main sound. So in order to do that, we're going to take this audio signal and split it three different ways so we can get our signal from each of these effects devices into a separate mixer in Ableton, a separate mixer channel. So right click, disconnect device, right click, disconnect device. Now one thing to notice is that you have to have audio coming into this main channel if you if you want a sound to come out. You can't get any sound out if you're simply just like there's no way around that. And what I mean by that is there has to be a signal coming through, which means you're going to have a signal with an effect on it. So in order to bypass that we're going to create a dummy effect by turning this all the way dry. 
Now, we'll get our signal out without an effect on it. Otherwise, it would be drenched in reverb and we still want our dry signal. So this is our dummy effect. And I spelled that wrong. Now let's go down the line. This is the next one. So let's go ahead and create our splitter effect. There are two options um, that I utilize. Either the built-in spider audio merger and splitter. Or if you're using more devices, then you can upgrade and get this from the Reason the Pro the Reason Studios store. I'm I'm guessing it's not called the Prop Shop anymore. This Poly Modular Audio Merger Splitter, where it has eight splitters for you, but we won't be using that right now. We'll just go ahead and use this. So with that being said, we have to reroute everything so main is going to go into our splitter here and then we're going to send this audio input here and so on audio input all right now our outputs will go as follows this is the dummy effect we're sending to the main so we'll have our dry effect this is our reverb and this is our sweeper effect. So reverb is on 3-4, sweeper effect is on 5-6. Flip the rack back over. We still hear everything coming out of main, so we need to turn these off. Now we just hear our dry piano and scenic. Keep in mind, by separating the audio channels, we'll only get reverb on the piano that is coming out of the main outputs of this rack. So. Let's create two audio tracks. This will be coming to Reason Rag Plugin 3 4. This will be the reverb. This channel will be Reason Rag Plugin 5 6. And this will be the sweeper effect. I'm going to put these on in. Solo this. Reverb. And that is our sweeper, and which we can mix in as parallel effects or sins. Now there's another thing we can do, which is sidechain. I do have a kick programmed here, so let's go ahead and turn that back on. I'm actually going to duplicate this and then use this as a sidechain signal and send it into our Reason Rack plugin. Now I could continue to do this in here or I can create a separate instance. In terms of this on the back, we do have one more option to split the audio so we can do it here. I'm gonna hold down shift and create a compressor. M class compressor. Awesome, let's take this side chain, put it into side chain in. We're gonna take this and put it into the inputs, and the outputs will be on seven and eight here for this compressor. And we're going to take one of these and send the audio into the reason rack plugin stereo in side chain reason rack effect. Flip this around and we're getting our signal in. And we'll hear the sidechain effects happening in the piano as that's what's routed into this channel because we routed scenic outside of it. And we can also get that going into scenic if we wanted to which is here by a regular sidechain uh, operation which would be like a compressor so in order to do that I would just do this in Ableton itself so compressor open this up audio from atomic kick And 
let's hear this. Now we have two side chain operations going. And our original kick. So I've just went over some basic and complex routing situations that you may occur using Ableton and the Reason Rack plugin. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. If there's anything I missed, let me know and I'll do a part two. As for any suggestions, drop those down in as well. And it's all culture, kick back, and cook up.